I'm Dr. David Duncan. I'm an assistant professor at Mount Sinai Kravis Children's Hospital, uh, specializing in pediatric gastroenterology and nutrition. So we provide uh, general GI care uh, and we're bringing that into the local community to provide easy access uh, for the patients and for the providers in the area. And so we can take care of all uh, kinds of GI uh, problems, uh, you know, and uh, if they need more specialized care, can refer them back to our main children's hospital in Manhattan. I think the, the most unique thing about that location is that uh, it's convenient for patients. Uh, and so they're getting care within their own community. In addition, uh, the facilities there are beautiful. Uh, and also within that space are other pediatric specialties so that we can work together on providing integrated care. And that includes pediatric allergy and immunology, uh, pediatric cardiology, uh, pediatric urology, and pediatric endocrinology. So we take care of a lot of uh, complex patients and we have center, centers where we provide integrated care, including our IBD center, uh, which includes uh, social workers, nutritionists, nurse practitioners, uh, and psychologists. Uh, we also are in the process of developing a functional abdominal pain center, uh, as well as an aerodigestive program and a fatty liver program. Um, and the care we provide at Mount Sinai Brooklyn Heights allows us to uh, feed those patients directly into those programs. So we really treat all gastrointestinal uh, diseases um, from our bread and butter uh, disorders, including constipation and reflux and uh, functional abdominal pain uh, to more complex diseases like celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, um, irritable bowel syndrome, eosinophilic esophagitis, and then on the hepatology side, uh, fatty liver and autoimmune hepatitis, just to name a few of them. So because it's located in the community, it's very easy for patients who live in both lower Manhattan and Brooklyn uh, to get to the office. Uh, all mass transit really uh, can bring patients there, but the ones who live right in that community uh, are in walking distance. And I add that our patients who live on uh, Staten Island also have easier access uh, to that office as opposed to coming into Manhattan. So we do offer telemedicine uh, and typically I like to uh, meet the patients the first time in person for a consultation and then follow-ups can occur via telemedicine. Uh, and the nice thing is that that's even more convenient for our patients. Uh, they don't have to come into the office. Uh, it's more flexible timing wise. Um, and any studies that we need to do, we can uh, have the patients do uh, at an outside laboratory or if they need radiologic studies, we can order those as well. So one, I think we're making sure that our offices are safe, uh, both for uh, the physicians and staff who work there, but especially for our patients. Uh, and so uh, we're instituting screening for the patients upon arrival. Uh, all patients are wearing masks and providers. Um, we're, we've spaced out the patients so that there are less people waiting in uh, waiting rooms and they're brought right back into the offices so that it's really, really is a safe place uh, for patients and their families to come and see us. So my research uh, mainly focus at, focuses on developing new therapies for inflammatory diseases of the GI tract, mainly Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and eosinophilic esophagitis. And so one, uh, that makes us always think about using uh, evidence-based medicine to treat our patients, but also using the most uh, cutting edge science to treat our patients uh, with the best therapies that are available. In addition, that allows us to uh, have our patients be involved in clinical trials. And so uh, through Mount Sinai, we've run many clinical trials. Uh, many of them are for inflammatory bowel disease, but also for functional GI disorders. So I think one is uh, 
the compassionate care that I'm able to provide to patients with a background of cutting edge science. Um, and I would say probably for the patients, number one is communication, that they're able to get a hold of me. We're able to easily either follow up with them in the office or do telemedicine with them uh, from home. Uh, and then uh, important is the communication that I provide to their uh, primary care doctors that they know what's going on with their patients and that we're managing the patients together. So it can easily uh, have the patients uh, call the office at 212-241-5415 uh, or physicians, uh, if it's more urgent, can call the office and get a hold of me directly. Um, or they could also uh, email me if it's a more urgent case.